Hey everyone, Ben with bensolens.com. So we've already covered the basics of the VLOOKUP in Excel. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video, go ahead and click the link on the screen now and go brush up on the basics there. Today, however, what we're gonna do is combine the VLOOKUP with some conditional logic to see if our value that we're interested in exists on another sheet. You may wonder, why would I do that? Well, a common way that you would use this function is to see if an order was returned. And let's say you have one sheet with orders, one sheet with returns. You can see which ones were actually returned and just use that to sum up and see the total sales you had minus the returns. Let's dive in. In this tutorial, what I'm gonna do is show you how to use VLOOKUP and embed that into another formula, a bit more advanced than your typical VLOOKUP that just pulled back a value. What I want to do in my Superstore data set here is take a look at orders and figure out if the order was returned. So I have a tab here which has all my returns and you can see in column B I have order ID and this number just is the digit of the order. I go back over to my orders tab and of course I have a corresponding order ID here. So I can do this anywhere I want. I'm just going to go ahead and add it right here. I'll insert a column and I'm going to call this returned. Now if I do a VLOOKUP, just using the standard VLOOKUP, pretty basic, I can comma, I can hit that, I can take a look at the returns tab, find if it was in there, return the first column, and only give me an exact match, and of course it won't work for that one because it wasn't returned. And then you can see as I copy it down there, some here that were returned. Okay, so we've got a basic formula that works, right? We know how to do VLOOKUPs. Now, I want a number here of one or a zero that will tell me if it was returned. Now, to make it real easy to do something like count how many returns we have or subtract those sales amounts from our overall sales total. That way, we're doing a correct analysis on it. So, let's do that. We're going to add some conditional logic. So, I've got my VLOOKUP and think of your VLOOKUP just as a cell. Think of it just as a reference there. So, in order to get this going, what I need to do is start with an if condition. And inside of the if, I'm going to test if this is an error. Now remember, I'm gonna treat the whole VLOOKUP like it's a single value. So I'm just gonna put is error around that whole thing. Then it's simple enough. If it's true, meaning it's an error, then we do not have a return for that order. And otherwise it's a one, meaning we do have a return for that order. Go ahead and close that out. And it got a zero. Make sure that these three down there turn out to be ones. And they do. And there you go. So now if I were just to sum up this column here, you can see I have 800 returns out of close to 10,000 orders. And that's an easy way to use VLOOKUP to do some additional logic there to embed it so you can do things really complex and make really analytical bits to get really great insights into your analysis here. Now I have a really clean data set to run a pivot table off or import it into another BI tool. Okay, I hope that helped. Stay tuned below by subscribing to my channel or check me out at bensolens.com. Thanks for watching.